Yeah. You gotta just jam it in. Like, jam it like, in there. Get, like, get a oh! <laughs> hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel today. I'm hanging out with my friend Justine. I'm back. Who I love with my whole heart and soul. And you guys wanted to see some more testing kitchen gadgets, so we're delivering. That's what we're doing today. Let's do it. Justine, thanks for coming over. Do you want to make me breakfast? This is actually great because <laughs> I can't make anything else but breakfast, so... Let's per do it. Perfect. So this is not the gadget. This is just a little hot pad. This, it's a spatula tongue. A two in one. And you're supposed to be able to cook any breakfast food with it. So we're gonna put it to the test. Justine makes eggs. Whoa! All I don't the time. Didn't want to flex, but Boom. I'm here. She can juggle too, you guys. Oh. Should I try to juggle some meat? Yeah. This Maybe one. should we like okay, that's nice. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. We've just been delivered some more meat. Did you wanna crack the egg while I juggle the meat? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I dropped the sausage on myself. Can you guys see this? This smells so good. I'm so <laughs> hungry, actually. Here we go. Let's add a little more meat to our platter. Yeah, I got some turkey bacon and eggs, some little sausages. Okay, so how do you, um, with the tongs, you know, I pick them up and flip them. Yeah, but you but... can do that with this. Look. Okay, let me see. Look at that. Okay, you can. I might need to use this other one here just as like a, to scoop yeah. this onto here. Okay, we got a couple. Here we go, okay Tell then. Tell me if you need a plate. Let me see how good of a tong. Okay, well the tong does work, but it's a little flimsy. I'm picking up this whole piece of meat. Wow. Okay, this works kind of good. Oh. Okay, I've, I have broken the yolk, but. That's okay. That's okay. I'll take a little broken yolk. These little sausages are taking a while here. Here we go, let's turn it up a little. Okay, yes, creepy. Nice. Let's see what we try to, oh, 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 oh. Give me a push, give me a I push I feel there. like okay. if the pan had a bigger lip. Look. You can oh, pick them all up. I got three meats. Love it, because with this, I can only get one at a time. Yeah, and look, I'm moving it around, like it's pretty yeah. safe. It's pretty secure. You can't get too crazy, but you could get a little crazy in the Oh kitchen. no, it's so greasy. Oh, well. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Come here, little meat. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this could actually be a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> they work, just don't push the limits. Don't get too crazy. Look, they work. I wish they were higher quality, but it's a cool idea. You can't win them all. And this is almost ready, so we can have a little treat and then on to the next gadget. The next gadget related to the last hot pans, this is a foldable silicone trivet. I'm sorry, what? So basically you can fold it up, throw it in a drawer, Ooh. and then you unfold it, and it's basically a hot plate. Put your pots and pans on. Here's our hot meat pan. Hot meat pan, which is still hot. All right, that fits on there. Does not do anything decor wise for your kitchen. Maybe like a neutral color, like a black or like a yeah, tan. Yeah, honestly, I just like the hot mitts. Cause look at this guys, boom, does the same thing. It's a good idea though. Yeah. I mean, it does fold up and you can put it in your purse in case you're traveling right. for a hot plate convention. I don't know. It's grippy. I do like that. I wish it came in better colors and stuff. It's kind of ugly. I also want to know why is it foldable? Because I don't know. throwing this in a drawer, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Like I have all of my things in my drawers like divided, so this would fit definitely fit better. So what do you think about this? Not for me, but I could see someone getting use out of it. It does work. I'd like a neutral tan color. All right, next gadget. Yeah. All right, now Justine, this isn't the craziest gadget out there, but I thought it was so cute. It's adorable. So it's a peeler, but it's a caterpillar. <gasps> That is the cutest name. Like, even if it sucks, like, <laughs> you gotta get it. <laughs> okay, so let's try. I got a potato okay. here. This is like when we made each other's faces out of potatoes. That was the time. Look, and there's his little face. He's so cute. He's so cute. His little do, antlers. Do you remember that book growing up? It was like what the caterpillar ate? Yes. Oh my God. It's such I love a cute that book. book. It's a classic. Oh, that just reminds me of this little <gasps> guy. Okay, you guys, wow. it works well. I'm a big fan. Pro tip a sign of a good peeler is it works both ways. You can go down and up, so let's do it. Don't cut your finger. Oh gosh, yeah. Oh, it works. Oh, wow. Down, uh, oh, I'm just too scared. So it can do it, I just don't want to. <laughs> Look, we made Whoa. all these caterpillars. 
I mean, this is actually very good. So the Caterpillar is definitely an A plus in my book. Yeah, it's two thumbs up. This is fun, functional, creative, and it's cute. Oh. You know what I'm craving? Some churros. Well, that's great because we've got some churro batter <laughs> right here, ironically. Yeah, so for our next gadget, it's actually for the oil that you use to make churros. So we're gonna use the oil and then the product is for afterward. We've just got some churro batter in a piping bag with an open star tip. This is how I make them. You squeeze them out and then Justine, you give me a Tell cut. Tell me when. Cut now. All right, Whoa. let's do another cut. So is this how you make churros? At home. And then if you want them to be shaped perfectly, you can use the tongs. Like I have a video of me trying to make churros and let me tell you what, <laughs> nothing went right in that video. So here's the stuff. It's called Fryway Cooking Oil Solidifier. Now it gives you some directions here about the amount of oil that's in the bowl and how many mm -hmm. scoops. So by these directions, the amount of oil that we have, we would probably use about three scoops of the Fryway. Apparently you add the powder to it and it like, Solidifies, solidifies it. Solidifies. I'm fascinated to see, cause you know, as a little baker, I, I wanna see if this works. I'm uh, not really excited to admit that I didn't know that you weren't supposed to put oil down. <laughs> But just down the drain. Right? A lot Missed of that people, memo. A lot of people don't know that. So we just got word that this is $12, $12 for this. $12. Okay, these are starting to get a little brown. Like, I Okay, think, I think that's good. You think? Yeah. You just scoop on that, throw it in over here. We got cinnamon and sugar and roll it around. Oh, here, I got <gasps> you this. Oh, wow. This handy dandy Bring it back top. around. Does it work? This is good because you can also use it as a shovel and just kind of like, Flip some. That's how to do it. Scoop them all okay, in there. Okay. Let's get them. While you're making churros, let me do this. I got, I got it. All right, I'm gonna keep doing this over oh, here. Oh, wait, this scoop is pretty small. This bag would last you. Look how teeny. Even though this is a little pricey $12, it will last you. Okay, we got one scoop, two scoops, three scoops. Stir. Until the powder is fully dissolved. Okay. And then number three, we have to allow the oil to completely cool. Ooh. Will it solidify or will it not? <gasps> oh. The suspense is killing me. On the next episode. <laughs> All right, I am going to very carefully set this off to the side. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh oh, look. Hold on. I got you something for the hot pot. Shut up. Yes. A few moments later. All right, we're gonna check back in on this little one. This is cool. Okay, I'm going around the pot, feeling like jello. Hold on, wait. Oh! Whoa! Okay, that looks like a win. It worked, so I'm gonna say this is a win. If you wanna spend 12 bucks, it could last you a while. It makes cleanup a lot easier. Justine is the queen of tech, and over here, is a smart toaster and she's smart. So I thought she's the perfect person to come over and test this. Now this is fancy. It's $250 oh. and just that attachment is an additional $80. So this is like a $300 plus toaster system over here. I mean, this uh. clearly is pretty high tech. It's got an LCD. You can just scroll through here, choose what it is that you wanna make. Look at that guys. I mean, you could make English muffins, bagels, pastries, waffles. Options are endless, but I'm interested in trying this grilled cheese out. Yeah, let's make a grilled cheese because I know you like a grilled I cheese. I absolutely love a grilled let's cheese. Let's just do it. Bread here. Yeah. Cheesy, cheesy. cheesy. Quick. Yes. Oh. yes. Try to be really Got fast. It. Okay. That was. <laughs> you, don't, so you, you don't have to do that. You can just put it on the side. Let let's me just... stick it together with some butter. This will be like glue. Yeah, like who makes yeah. a grilled cheese without butter? Like yeah, I... you know what it says in the instructions, just do the toast. But I'm like, look, if this thing costs over $300, you better be saving me some time. I like your glue stick. This is a gadget my mom actually found so you could spread butter. Because this is great. I use the butter every day. I'm always cooking, I'm always doing English muffins. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, we should have done this as a gadget. This is the butter spreader. We basically are right now. Yeah, so this was not a part of the gadgets, but I like it. Okay, I feel like that's in there. For $300, this better make me a grilled cheese. This better digest it for me as well. <laughs> There's a whole mode for panini mode. <gasps> Pick a number between one and seven. Ooh, it's like one light and then seven super yes. toasty. Let's go right in the middle. Let's give it a good four. Okay, here we go. Click four, start. Let's go, what's going in? Let's oh, go. it does it. It's It's in. <laughs> okay, it's heating. It's browning! It is? That, well, that's what it's telling me, is it? Can you see it? Yeah, well, I can see on here. Three, Three two, two, one! one. Oh, a little sound! 
Okay, that Here was cool. Oh, oh my gosh. My God. I, I'm excited about that. $250 worth of entertainment right there. We could have went to Disney. This looks pretty yeah. good. I think we might have had to go a little bit longer. A little longer because like the cheese isn't super melted, but it's melted enough though. So we'll do a nice little cross cut here. Oh my gosh, you guys. For a four? Yeah. I thought this would be more, but only a few little, look at that, pretty I'm light. glad we put the little light butter on it. Yeah. Okay, it's actually not bad. Hey gosh, it's pretty, really, it's pretty good. It's really good. It's actually really good. And you guys, be rebellious. Break the rules a little bit. We use cheese and butter in here, even though it said not to. And guess what? It turned out great. It said not to use cheese. Cheese is okay to put in there, but we went off script with butter. It can make grilled cheese, but can it just toast a bagel? I don't know. Let's see. Bagel has been selected. It is fresh. Here we go. And they even oh. have the picture of what it's supposed to look like, so I'm pretty excited. There they go. This is gonna be great. Yeah. All in all, like I'm I'm kind of into this. You know what? It's expensive, but if it works this well, I mean it's kind of cool. Enjoy. Oh. Oh, that's hot. That's actually, a, these are some pretty good toasties. Okay, this is beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna use the two second rule. I'm just gonna eat them. That bagel does not look as toasted as this bagel. So I feel no. like their consistency might be a little bit off. I feel like this is more like the two picture, not the four. Yeah, maybe they need to redo their pictures. But here's the thing, because this toaster is electronic, with a simple firmware update, they would have the ability to update these photos to become more accurate. So Look at her smart. Can we do one more? Yeah. Because I have an English muffin every morning. It okay. is my go-to. So here we go. We got our English muffin. The four wasn't as toasted as I like. So pick mm -hmm. something a little, a little darker. Let's do a five. Yeah. Crank it up. Bye-bye. I do like that it slowly comes up and it doesn't do the jump scare. Bah! Cause you know, if it's the morning for me, haven't had coffee yet and I'm real out of it and I'm walking around like a zombie here, they get me. Yeah. My poor heart, I can't be doing that kind of jump scares. I don't know how you've made it this long. One second, here we go. Here Enjoy. We go. Here's what I've got to say. These are burnt. This, okay, does that actually, mask the picture? It kind of does. It does look a little more crispy than- Why is this an option? This is hard as a rock. I like it a lot. I think they may need to update their algorithm and hopefully in the next firmware update. <laughs> Who can get into that? I don't know, but the grilled cheese was really good. So let's just think about the good times. <laughs> Just burn. What do we think about this thing? Do you have a toaster and do you have $250 that you don't care about? Because if you have a toaster already, like you're fine. It's, you know, it's, it's. You already have it, so <laughs> this is a part of your home now. I'm gonna try to learn to love it. Okay. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna give it a try. You know what sucks, Justine? What? Warm beer and warm sodas. I have a feeling that you have something to resolve this issue for us today. Well, we found something online that we're gonna put to the test. This is a beer chiller sticks. So you just pop these in the freezer and you stick them into your beer. So I got you some root beers. Thank you. And then I got me a beer. Boom, so I'm gonna just take a little sip off the top. Why don't you just put these in the refrigerator? Oh, pretend we don't have a refrigerator. Hey, look at that. Boom. Oh, you just drink out of it. Oh my God, look at this. Oh my, Justine, that's what you do. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I think. I didn't take a sip. Uh -oh. It's a little carbonated. Okay, so okay. the thing I don't like about these already, you have to take a sip of oh, your geez. warm drink. I did. You, you did. I took a sip. So you got to take a couple sips. So drink half of it. Before you put this in there, and that kind of defeats the purpose. Okay, so you only have two of these. So like, if you're ready to slam some beers, like right? this is not... Ideal, like this is not ideal for me. You know, I'm part Irish. I have a hollow leg, and I like to drink. I like to have fun. The other thing is, like, this is big for me to drink out of. Like, this is weird. Like a dentist tool or something. Like spit in the tube. Well, my sip that I just took was not by any means cold at all. Ew! Yeah, still warm. Who wants to drink warm beer on a hot day? Put it in your fridge. Get some ice. In what situation would we have access to a freezer where we can freeze these, but then we can't put them in the fridge? I think they were drunk when they came up with this idea. Wouldn't this be a good idea? No. You know what I would do? Get a cooler. This one's a thumbs down. This is a pass for me. Don't do this. Oh my gosh, is this cute. <laughs> Drac and roll garlic peeler. It's a little Dracula. I 
love it. I love vampires and I'm so obsessed. Anything that's kind of cute and like campy like this, I just hope that it works because if I can use something that's adorable and at the same time functional, I'm in. I don't understand. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry, okay. I just burped and it's a beer burp. That's I'm fine. so sorry. Oh my um, gosh. So you rock back uh, and Oh, jeez. Sorry. You're sorry. So you just put in all these little cloves and then you give it a roll. Let's do it, baby. Okay. I don't know much well, about one garlic. Felt okay. Oh, look, the skin's Ooh, off. It look worked. That. Okay, that worked. Let's see what else we got. Whoa. Okay, this one worked too. I don't look cute doing this, but it is, I think, working. Boom. Whoa. As someone who has never done anything with garlic before, what do you normally do? I usually just cut and peel them off. This is neat. I think that's a big thumbs up. I also think it's funny because you know, the vampires, they hate garlic and then he's literally filled with garlic. So that's pretty funny. Do you need this in your kitchen? Probably yes. not, but oh. I want it. Yeah, yeah you, you do you need it. Yeah, you yeah, need you it. Need <laughs> you need it. You need it. He is like one garlic stick. Oh, oh, oh. No, that's the count. Oh, he's, he's a, a Dracula. Dracula. <laughs> Well, this one was a win, it worked. All right, we're gonna try another simple one and it's a strawberry Hewler stem gem. I think we might've tried this one before, but like my memory is awful and I feel like we did, but also did we? I feel like we did too. But let's try it again. But I don't remember it. I vaguely remember it. Oh my gosh. Leave us a comment guys. below yeah, if we did this already. So it's kind of cute. It looks like a strawberry. And what you do is you just push and it looks like one of those claw machines and then you Boom, right on the green part, and then you release. Oh, well, I oh, thought shoot, that I did everything. You pull it out. Yep. That didn't work. Well, it took off the leaves, but it's supposed to gut yeah. the whole top of it. Okay, here we go. Jamming that in there. Yeah, okay. And we do a little turn. Oh, we would twist yeah, it. Yeah, because oh, I have the one twist, of these the and twist. I love it. Oh, I might have removed the entire inside of the strawberry. So. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, maybe do a little less. Yeah, because that removed all the goodies. There we go. <gasps> there we go. Okay, this thing. Great, you guys. This I will work. wonder what we thought about it the first time we used it. <laughs> you know what? Future us loves it. It's quick, it's simple, it's easy, it works. And when you hollow it out, you could put like a little chocolate, like a little <gasps> ganache in there or something. That's a great idea because you can really, oh, wow. yeah, because you can make a big hole. Oh my gosh, these are so oh good. Oh my goodness. Are these in season? No. Hard to say. They taste like they are. Oh my gosh, I'm already obsessed with this one. It's a Dunkin' Egg Yolk Separator. I'm so hyped about this. I was gonna say, let the games begin, you guys. So cute, it's a little basketball hoop. Look ah! how cute this is. Okay. How do you do this? Well, I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna do it. I don't know how you're supposed to do it. Do you throw the egg? No, you don't throw the oh, egg in there. That's what yeah. I was gonna do. Yeah, do it. Ready? All right. Yeah, all right, we got our grippy thing. Now, Boom. I don't think this is how you're supposed to do it. Do it, do it. Oh! <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do one more. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what do you do? You just, okay, you, so you. I think you just crack the egg and into the basket. What, are you serious? Yeah, that's all. That's it? That's oh it. my gosh, here's the picture. Yeah, they're just cracking the yeah. egg above the basket. Oops. And it goes through anyways. Oh, I've messed up. Okay, um, let's do this how you're actually supposed to do it. Okay, oh, that's let's, nice. let's do that. Put this thing to use. So if you do that, if you're really delicate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like you gotta move it around to get that all out. Yeah, you gotta jiggle it. And then you got this thing to clean. So I'm just not a big fan of anything that is gonna create more work for me. And still you guys, this has been sitting here for a while and still there's a lot of egg white. It's not doing the best job of separating the egg. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty, sorry, yeah. sorry. Oh, so it's, sorry. I mean, it's really not doing its job here. I am gonna this is a really cool novelty gift as far as practicality like no and you guys i'm old school i like to just crack that egg in half in the jiggle method back and forth back and forth that easy and no extra cleanup this Ow. is not a Next. slam dunk all right justine we're trying things that are simple and cute today so we're gonna be trying this berry grater it's a bear grater i see what they did there it's a cheese grater but it stays inside of the bear so let's try it out look at that you can stand it up and it's just a cute little bear how would you do this? I don't know. How would you do it? 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 I guess because it's got the grippies at the feet. Yeah. And then just this, probably. Oh, that's a real soft cheese. Oh, soft cheese. Very soft. Yeah, that's very soft. It doesn't catch all the cheese. Like you can see a little bit here on the counter. There it is. It's perfect. 
perfect. This is amazing. I don't feel like I have any complaints. Other than maybe being bigger. Yeah, I need a bigger one. Maybe so. they'll have like a bear family. Like a mama, <gasps> papa, baby oh bear. Because it seems like I a baby bear. they do. All in all, I think it's thumbs up. Yeah, it's cute. Any excuse to eat pickles? I am in. And Justine, pickles are like having a moment right now. I mean, I feel like every year they have a moment. But right now people are eating chiclets. It's cheese pickles. No, chickles. You fry like a piece of cheese and then you put a pickle slice and you wrap it. This is all new information to me. So how do you pick your perfect pickle to make a chickle? You get this product. If it's hard to grab a pickle out of your jar, especially if it's near the bottom, apparently this is a deluxe pickle picker. I think they just added deluxe just for like flair. Oh no, it's a pincher. Excuse me, a pick, a pick. <laughs> I can't read. I mean, I don't really eat pickles, so like, is this solving a problem that doesn't exist? I don't know, as a non-pickle pincher. Okay, I eat pickles. Okay. And usually what I do is I open the jar. Easy, you can just grab and eat. Now, as you get further down, gotta get creative. You should use a fork. But if I have one of these, look at this, it's halfway down. Oh! <laughs> All right, do you that want to try it like first? It's from the movie Aliens. That looks sci-fi. That is not like the cute little- Ow! Oh! oh my God, don't pinch yourself with it. Okay, see if you can just grab one really easy and put it in I'll this bowl. i close my eyes. Okay, do it, do it, do it. Wait a uh, minute. I'll, maybe I'll open my eyes. Okay, okay. Uh-oh. Oh no, it broke. Oh no, I have twisted the pinchers. My first pinch. Your first pickle pinch and it's already broken. Well, it's not broken, but it's definitely not great. We're back in action. <gasps> It looks so creepy. <gasps> okay, I have pinched. I have pinched. It looks like you're doing science. Like a pickle science experiment. I mean, let me try to get in I on can't this, even get the butt of it. This big old whole dill. <laughs> That's a big deal. All right, girl, okay. give me a big deal, because these baby dills, easy. Oh! Okay, it can handle right. a big deal. Yeah, okay, well this one, now it is like, it has penetrated through the dill. This. Does that ruin the pickle for you? No. Okay, cause look. Not a lot can ruin a pickle for me. I okay. love pickles. This teeny little thing can handle a big Oh, I'm so sorry. I need to grab an end so I can. Oh, no, no, here you oh. <laughs> Yeah. You gotta just jam it in. Like, jam it in like, there. Like, oh! It is no longer with us. It is no longer with us. Look, this is a fail. Boom. It broke on the first pickle, exploded on the fifth pickle. Justine almost lost an eyeball. Yeah. And you know what? I couldn't even get my big deal out of there. Get out of here. I hope we have something better as a redemption. Me too. We need a good gadget. That's the last one. So that's the last that, one. Oh, so that's the last gadget. Okay. Well, let's, you know what? I think maybe the next video will have mm -hmm. hopefully a redemption of some better items. Okay, I'm gonna go online. I'm gonna try to find some better okay. gadgets. I really had high hopes for this. I mean, it even said deluxe. Just use a fork, like you're but, fine. All right, that does it for all the gadgets that we have to test today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your guys' favorite. So thank you to Justine for being here and helping me test all of these gadgets. Look, I love it. I can't wait for more. I'm so happy you're here to show me how to do the smart stuff. So great. God, I really appreciate it. I'll be putting all of her links down below. Go check out her channel. Give her all the love. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. It's free. And ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new videos. We've got some weird ones mm. this year. Love it. They're gonna be fun and weird. If you guys want to watch any other videos, you can click up here. Or over here. Yeah, there or there. Thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.